You know, I haven't I haven't balanced my drops ever since I fixed my mixer problem. You haven't balanced your life. I know. Alex! Or your vitamins. I know! Uh, I'm full up on B! <laughs> <laughs> Could really use some you mean DNA. Barnold? Is that what you meant? Yes, vitamin <laughs> Barnold. I'm up to here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like I've, I've taken in a lethal dose. I'm Ray Barnold. Are you sure that's your name? I am Jackie Chan. Well, make up your mind. Having fun over there? Yes, I am. In Japan? <laughs> yes, I you am. Little asshole. <laughs> Konnichiwa. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to No More Whoppers. Once again, my name is Ray Barnholt on my fifth bottle of Palm, and with me as always, the human syntax error, Alex Rowley. <coughs> I not! <laughs> Uh, he does it well. Grammar counts as syntax, right? Yeah. I meant to more right. in a computer sense. Oh. Like well, how, am I, how, am I, how am I supposed to mimic that? What am I supposed to do for that? I don't know. Make some clunky noises. <laughs> yeah, <sorry>. Perfect. <laughs> that was okay, Alex's I, impression a, of Number Muncher. I, I'm also the, uh, the glowing disco ball from uh, the Globetrotters cartoon. <laughs> I'm not familiar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Was that their pal? Was that their mascot pal? That, that was their um, uh, Zordon, if you will. I see. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible show. Exterminate the generals. Yes. Or maybe it was just a, a talking basketball. What was the show that had the disco ball? <laughs> Probably not the one with the oh, basketball I'm team. <laughs> thinking of my bar. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was thinking of Game Boy from the Captain N cartoon. Oh, fun! He just talks like this because he's a cliched character. He was a big motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Really, really odd. Kind of a... Uh, what's the <laughs> word I'm looking for? Contrary um, to the actual yes. basis of the character. Here's a small portable gaming machine. Let's make it a giant character. <laughs> yes. As tall as everyone else. <laughs> and frightening. Uh, they should have sold those as Game Boy Giant. Um, Game Boy... XL, there we go. Yeah. You know what I think would be a good collectible item? Pizzas. No, it's about Game Boys. Oh. You know, the Game Boys in the TV commercials had like a giant logo on the front of them, as opposed yeah. to the normal retail Game Boys, which had Yeah, what logo. gives? Yeah, I, I, well, I guess, you know, it's a TV effect thing. You got to see it's Oh, it's a Game Boy. That's right. But, I mean, you know, you never really see, saw those in the wild or anything. I never even saw them on eBay or something. I wonder if they actually made ones like that. And if somebody kept them, they'd probably be worth a lot of money. Because it's like, oh, the special TV commercial variant. I had oh, sorry, a... Dad. <laughs> uh, my dad, before he retired, he worked in uh, advertising. and Was he a madman? He, he was actually... He, was, he came in just a few years after, like, the Mad Men thing. Oh. <laughs> After all went to shit. After they all no. left, and they all went crazy. Kind of, yeah. And then he stepped in. Guys, I got it. <laughs> um, and he 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 would sometimes bring home props from commercial shoots that like they didn't need and he wanted to keep. And one oh, of them yeah. was a, a sweater from a I think it was like a cough medicine or a, a cold medicine commercial. Uh, I forget. I know he was in charge of different products, but one of them I think it was Contact or something. Sure. And it was a sweater that just said Drowsy State on it, like a college uh, <laughs> font <laughs> logo. And so I wore that around <laughs> so happily for, like, the next four years. That's amazing. And I was in high school, too, so, like, it fit me, and I was constantly <laughs> tired in the morning, too. So it's just, <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, that does remind me of those commercials that have, you know, like, yeah, anthropomorphized, yeah. anthropomorphized like, symptoms, you know? Oh, yeah. What oh, if God. you just had a sweater that just said bloated? <laughs> In a college fund? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Property of bloated or university. Not, yeah, that, or just, you know, just giant, you know, Frankie says relax font, you know. So. <laughs> Constipation. Oh, uh, Frayoli says relax. <laughs> Menopause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, oh. yeah, that seems like a pretty great benefit of having a dad in, in that business. Yeah. Yeah. I think that we also so got awesome. a. I, that's him. I think we also got a coffee mug that had a nose protruding from it. <laughs> 
Yeah. Which is actually a part of the mug, like that yeah. part filled with coffee. And now they have fucking Slurpee straws with mustaches. What? Yep. You can go to Why? 7-Eleven and be a stupid, annoying idiot in just a couple of cents. Not Japanese 7-Eleven. No. Well, they don't have Slurpees. No, they don't. Fun oh. fact. No. Well, only half of that is true. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's, it's a fact. It's not fun. I think it's fun because I like the, the convenience store industry. It's it still amuses me. I don't know if amuses is the word. How uh, yeah. just out in the open Japan is about corporations and corporate control. Uh, like anytime there's a Seven Eleven commercial, you hear the jingle for Seven and I Holdings. Yes. Okay, go, okay, guys. Like, well, you know they're not elegant about it. <laughs> no, they're not. You probably wouldn't see that over here as much. Yeah, you're right. But it's like, okay, you made a jingle out of it, but that's a really long ass name. And like, why is it so important that the average person know the name of the corporation before you watch a commercial? Like, nobody I, gives a shit. Japan loves holding. They do. I holdings. <laughs> like when I when I first moved here, uh, when I moved to Komaki in 2006. That was the first thing I saw. Uh, when I started exploring my town, was the giant Seven and I Holdings marquee. That was my supermarket. Mm-hmm. My supermarket was Seven and I Holdings. Yeah. What in the fuck? I I don't know. You tell me. Also, use of the word campaign for advertising campaigns, which right. is something that we uh, in the West sort sort of try to keep like to the uh, contained in in the boardroom. Yeah. Yeah. That word, I don't know. I'm like, I don't, I don't think that's necessarily bad. It's just a weird alien thing for me. Here's what we're selling you this month. Yeah, that sort of thing. Please buy it, valued customer. Yes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, they don't use that much around here. Valued no. customer? I'd like to feel valued every once in a while. Excuse me. I value you. you. Thanks. I mean, you know, you could turn on you know, the TV and see... Now a Taco Bell valued customer Baja Blast is back. Oh, please look forward to it. <laughs> uh. A division of Taco and I Holdings. <laughs> a division of Tacorp. Yes. <laughs> Just search Taco on the internet. Click fake search button picture. Uh, please understand. Oh! <laughs> Uh, are we back to hashtag Japan already? <laughs> I think. Oh, that's segment two. All right, I got I a little wanna, something. I don't want to get it's, ahead of us. It's probably not long enough for a whole segment, but uh, I'll try to drag it out. <laughs> sure, with don't your you yelling worry. and ranting. With my yelling, <laughs> I'm Alex. That's me. Uh, uh, okay. Fuck. Well, whoa. <laughs> Hi. Um. Now I'm disoriented. Thanks. Yay! I am dying. <sighs> Oh yeah, I got in on the uh, that Mario Kart Eight thing where you register the game online and you get uh, stuff. Uh huh. Now in, in in America, you get a free game. Yeah, you get to fucking Japan? keep the game. No, yeah. I get I get to have two games for a month. Great. No, that's bullshit. What? That's bullshit. <laughs> Whoa, Alex. Sorry, sorry I'm losing power. <laughs> Plug it in. Does like, anybody have a 240 volt wall uh, Glade plug in? I was going to say wall outlet. Oh. I flubbed <laughs> it like a son of a bitch. I was going to say walleye and then bring a fish out of my pants. <sighs> yeah. Now, you know, I was I, I, looking I, forward to actually owning Pikmin 3 or Wind Waker HD. Yeah, and I now, own those, yeah. Now, shut up! <laughs> I got now I get free. to play them for a month and then, like, they are <laughs> deleted from my Wii U. I, yeah, that seems a bit douchey. It's so stupid. At the same time, I believe if you buy a new 3DS, you can get a choice of a free game, depending on what month it is. And I think it ends next month. But Nintendo's doing that in Japan. But, you know, I mean, it seems odd. Like, why not just make it the same sort of thing for both systems? Especially the one that's doing worse. Why not let people keep a game? I think it's because... Because over uh, here, they're handing out games left and right. I mean, you got the Mario yeah. Kart thing, you got the Club Nintendo into the year bonus. I today. got... I got Pokemon Y for free from the very lovely Elizabeth Alexander, I think. It was a friend of hers, or maybe it was her, sure. who bought an extra well, 3DS. It was free for you. It was free for me, right? If I haven't seen it, it's free for nah, me. shut up. I'm saying it's technically <laughs> not free, because they, they had to buy that, the system and it came... That's what I mean. Yeah. But well, whoever I'm, bought that system, was they wanted to buy the system regardless, and they already owned 
poke pocket man's why. Yes. So I got it. I got it. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed that game for about a week and a half. Sounds about right. That sounds and about it, right for uh, someone playing Pokemon in, in their yeah. late 20s, early 30s. Uh, thank you for that. That's very flattering. Uh, that you went with you late 20s first. You don't look a day over 70. Shut. Well, wait a minute. What? What? <laughs> I yeah, threw my so beard out. <laughs> How many seven-year-olds do you know with beards? <laughs> I said... He said 7D, but okay. That's just oh. as funny. Oh, sorry. Don't I think worry. it's 7 Yeah, I look like... No, okay. Um, yeah, there's something about the game that, like, it really feels... I don't, I don't know how to put oh, this. Pokemon? It feels... Yeah, yeah. It feels like it's for kids, but it really feels like it's for kids. Like, I have no business playing it. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, I, I checked out after, like, two or three gym badges. Like, well, this is not <laughs> as good as I remember. <laughs> This yeah. is really monotonous. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, even when the first one came out, we were still kind of too old. Yeah, that's true. Well, I was in 10th grade. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but I mean, also in high school, like, that's the time when you can't be a nerd. Because <laughs> then I you're was just a nerd. mocked endlessly. I was also mocked endlessly. <laughs> I wasn't. People left me alone, mostly, but uh, I still wasn't going to be too forthcoming with playing Pokemon. Hey, here comes Barnhall with his Atari Lynx. Um, no. No? No. Here comes Barnhall with his Wonder Swan Color. No, that was later in life. Here comes Barnhall. What an ass. <laughs> Is that I, more? No, that didn't even happen. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Jesus. It's Alex. I would take my Game Boy to school with me, and then my Game Boy Color to school with me, and play Pokemon Red... And a couple of friends also had it, and what, we would Capoeira trade. Friends? Capoeira friends. We would fight in the hallways like Eddie Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a nice pull, right? Yes. Okay. It's pretty much the only one. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> uh, it is. So, I'm delirious because it's really hot today. Mm-hmm. Uh, we would play Pokemon before Homeroom, and then maybe again on the bus home, and that's about it. And like, and then my sister started playing it, and we would play together and trade together, and we bought Game That's Boy nice. Colors. Yeah. That's why it's nice to have a sibling. Then, on the weekends, I'd play... My, my dad and I would play Doom on the 32X together. Oh, yeah. Or he would play Iron Storm on the Saturn. So, wait. Was that the, What's only, up? Was that the only version of Doom you could play reliably? Uh, we, the, well, the first time I, I played it was on my dad's work laptop. Like, he came up from work one day. It's like, you gotta check this out. Uh, but yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of bloody, so don't tell your mother. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, wow, this is awesome. And, uh, and then it came out for the 32X and we bought it and it was still not, you know, that's not a great version. No. Uh, and I don't think we ever actually had a version on a proper PC. Because, like, that laptop, that was his laptop in, like, 94 or 93. Yeah. And it was not the best. I it was, see. like, heavy. Well, as I've told many times before, the first time I could play Doom reliably was on 32X. Really? I didn't have the right kind of computer at the time, underpowered. Yeah. It took about another year or two. I was so pissed off that it was just episode one on there. Well... Sort of, yeah. It was like it was not every level. It was like no. almost every level. And then I, uh, I played it at a friend's house. The real version on the PC. He had uh, every episode. I'm like, well, I don't remember this. Wait, wait. Where was this on the 32x? Holy shit! Did he have Ultimate Doom? The fa- I believe it was Ultimate Doom, okay. or was it Final Doom? Which mm-hmm. one came last? Final Doom's different. Is it? Yeah. Which one? It was- Final Doom's like an expansion pack, sort of. Oh. What about Final Fantasy? That's a different game. How about Yobi's Spelling Safari? I played that on MS DOS. Yobi? Yobi. How's that spelled? Y O B I. <laughs> okay. Did they tell you how to spell it? No. Actually, maybe they did. <laughs> My name is Yobi. That's right. I played Doom at uh, Matt's house. But happy birthday to Matt, by the way. Uh, August 2nd. I'll get to that in a second. Yeah, two. we'd like to call him Yobi. Yes, uh, we used to, we would play games on his because he his family had a PC before mine did. I like how you didn't challenge that at all. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, he, he kind of looks like him. Uh, my, he had a PC before my family did by about a year or two, what and a so prick. we would go. I know, right? 
I would go to his house to play Doom and Yobi's spelling safari. Uh, <laughs> Seems like a real contrast. <laughs> yeah, two. yeah, there was a big... That's the weird thing. We enjoyed them equally. Yeah. But they were like, one is for maybe 10-year-olds <laughs> and the other is a spelling game. Um, Yobi's killing spree. Thank you. Yobi Stein 3D. <laughs> Um, Duke Spellum? I got nothing. <laughs> and, and we also played this game called Archon Ultra. Are you familiar with this? How's that spelled? <laughs> exactly how you think it is. A R C O N. I oh. think? Yeah. It's not Archon, the, 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 the chess game? It is. Oh, is that how you say that? Archon? Who says Archon? Idiots like me who never heard it. All right. Anyway, Fallen Arches Ultra we played. Yeah. And that was fun because, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a chess game, but you get to watch the pieces kill each other every time you take one. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of gimmicky, but, you know, in, like, the sixth grade, we thought it was the coolest thing. I, I guess. Did you ever play a... Uh, was it? What? Did it uh, Star Mario? Wars, Star Wars chess on no. Sega CD? I no. It did you? I just said no. What? No. Speak up. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. It wasn't Sega CD. It was someone else. Anyway, hi. Hi. Okay. So, computers. Yeah. Let's talk more about them. Um, Actually, I just read someone's complaint about Retronauts that we talk too much about Japanese games and that we, don't, aren't, that we aren't smart enough about computer games. Oh, I'll feel this one. Go fuck yourself. Nah. <laughs> It wasn't quite as uh, venomous as I made it sound, but, uh, you know. I guess, I guess, who gives a shit, really? Yeah. I mean, the, the point is, is mostly console games anyway, isn't it? Divorced of whatever that person said, I just was, would like to say, you know, if you come into a podcast expecting either the host to know more than you or to know the exact same things you do, <laughs> then you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Yeah. You should, uh, at least temper your expectations a bit. I think Any yeah, podcast... Yeah, and this is – nerds are the angriest about this because I, I think that um, – what's the word I'm looking for? Nerds try very hard. They, they crave uh, the, the – Sandwiches. Sandwiches that we all know and love. They, they like things to be categorized and delineated and like this is all the information in the universe. Obviously, the host knows it because he's hosting a podcast about the subject. No, we're all different people. Maybe I didn't read that one issue of... Maybe I didn't read the, the June 1993 issue of EGM, and I missed this one fact that you have shoved up your butt. Uh-huh. I just don't expect the host to know everything you do. That's what you just said, right? I'm saying the same thing. Pretty much. Okay. Jerk off. Anyway, that's not exactly what that person was saying, but other people have said the same thing. Just, uh, well, they're dumb. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's too bad. You definitely can't please everybody. Even podcast hosts. Hi. Yeah, you asked. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, when I was uh, when I was on <laughs> when I was on No More Whoppers, this co-host Ray was giving me shit the whole time, <laughs> just because I didn't have a passport. They kept you calling know, me you stinker. Okay. Um. <laughs> no, the, fir- the first time I was on Retronauts for that Dragon Quest episode, like five years ago, uh-huh. uh, I, we were talking about every game in the series up to that point, which I think was like nine was just about to be released. And we got, to, we got to six, and I'm like, actually, I've never played six. <laughs> and Scott Shark, probably not seriously, but he was like, well, then why the fuck are you on this podcast? <laughs> and I'm like, wow, okay, that's, that's pretty hostile. I've just never played it. Definitely not seriously. Okay, good. Because that, <laughs> I, I, that kind of um, uh, rubbed me the wrong way at the time. No. Sharky's just like that. Okay. Comedy. Plus, six is not a great game. It was all right. It is, uh, it is a mediocre Dragon Quest, which means it's an above-average RPG. <laughs> that's, my, that's my scale. And a great appetizer. Tangy! <laughs> Come on in to TGI Horries. Whoa! Try our... Bloomin... Onion. Shit! <laughs> it's the same as Outback! I think you just like saying Bloomin' Onion. 
<laughs> I really do. Yeah. I <laughs> know. I just like, I like trying to come up with a knockoff, but then you just give it the exact same name. <laughs> That's funny to me. Uh, sometimes. Uh, to me. To you. Yes. My X-Men. All right. <laughs> I'm drinking tea to, to battle the heat. Raymond, how are you coping with the season? Um, fine. Today was kind of cold. Got dark a bit earlier. It rained a little bit. Go to the corner. Grab me one of those Slurpees. All right, it's not on the corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Your 7-Eleven's gone anyway, right? That newer one? Yes. Yeah, okay. But this, is there another one? There's the original one that's a little bit further away. We <gasps> the did very go to that first 7-Eleven? No, not the first. No. You said the original. The original one when I moved here. Famous original 7-Elevens? Jesus Christ. I'm really loopy today. I'm sorry. No shit. <laughs> <sighs> Come on back. Come on back. Hi. Hi, hi there. Hi. How you doing? Because it's hot today. <laughs> I, I messed that up. <laughs> Chilly today. Hot tamale. No, it is hot today. <laughs> and yesterday I was out at the Korean karaoke bar. With my account. Actually. Ah, oh, the KKK. The, thank you. <laughs> no, wait. How do you spell bar? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yesterday, I went out earlier in the day. I went to um, the hub for a couple gin and tonics because it's summer, and that's my favorite summer drink. And then Hero called me. He's like, hey, I'm going back to Cambodia tomorrow. Let's meet at uh, Cooper's for a couple drinks. I said, sure. I meet him at Cooper's there. He's got his son there. They look very much alike. Uh, How old's and, the son? Uh, four months. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he looks like a giant baby. Hero. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, he wants me to do some English for the menu, so he gave me a list of the things, it, like, it, um, to, uh, get, like, how to... How to English. How to English. No, how to drink sake from uh, a masu, which is uh, the little box, you know? A sake box. Anybody? I don't know. Okay. Uh, and then directions on how to fold makizushi. You know, he just wants to put those those on the menu in English for people for, to get the real uh, authentic Japanese experience. Yeah. Anyway, uh, hung out with him. Uh, hung out with another friend for a while. Went home at about nine. I'm like, oh, this is great. I'm just gonna go to bed. Uh, I'm gonna have a night. I'm gonna have a quick dinner. Go to bed. That'll be that. I am halfway through eating my dinner. I get a call from my accountant. Alex, you gotta come down to the Korean karaoke bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why? Oh, because everyone wants to see you. Who's everyone? You know, everyone. Okay. Uh. Can you come down? Oh, I'm kind of eating dinner. Well, stop eating dinner and come down. Right. I'm like, okay. Uh, I'll I'll pay for your drinks. All right, I'm there. <laughs> so I I put my I'm dinner Alex. down. I'm Alex. I jump on my bike. I go over there. Uh, uh four hours of karaoke later. I am walking home next to a Japanese construction worker named Hide, mm -hmm. who was at the bar. And uh, Hide is a nice guy. You know, he, he was wearing the like the construction worker uniform, like the gray jumpsuit with the hakama right. shirtless, sh yeah, <laughs> right, <laughs> catcalling women, right. Uh, no, he was wearing he was wearing a towel on his Drinking head. A Diet you know. Coke. He was wearing the um, not bandana. What do you call it? Like like a towel, but it looks like a bandana. I don't know words today, folks. It's really hot. A turban? Uh, no, Ray. Like if you go to a, a sushi restaurant, like what those guys are wearing on their heads. I don't know Japanese words. I, mean, I don't need oh, That's I'm why sorry, I'm saying. I'm sorry, hold on. Uh, maki sushi. No. Yes, he keeps food on his head. <laughs> <sighs> but no, it was nice. It was nice to meet a guy uh, who, uh, in in a line of work that I've never. Uh, met before who is interested in uh, retro games. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's very eager to come to the bar when it opens. He was is he a fan of uh, Daiku no Genson? I don't know what that is. Hammer and Harry? I don't know who it's that is. It's a retro game about a construction worker. Are you thinking of Harry and the Hendersons? No. That's a film. And a TV series. It's a classic film. Yes. Preserved in the Library of Congress? No. No, okay. Um, but yeah, he, he was very passionate about Xevious. Oh, good. All right. He I like him already. He insisted that I have it at the bar. I said, I will do my best. Yep. Or else then, I would um, have insisted. He, yeah. 
he actually lives like across the street from me, so we just right. we just walk back to our neighborhood together. <laughs> uh, fun. Is he your age? Older? He is thirty eight. Okay, that's a good age to like Zevius, I guess. Yeah, sure. Anything else? Well, one of the owners of that place, the karaoke bar, was was getting kind of touchy feely with me last night, which was a little weird. Whoa. The um. Yeah, it's it's a husband and wife that own that place too, and and so which one was it? <laughs> the it was the wife, and okay. like they they were closing up shop, and she's walking everybody outside to get them on their way to make sure nobody nobody uh, stumbles drunkenly into traffic, and she's like um, holding onto my arm, and I think she was doing this in, intentionally to tell me uh, very covertly, "Hey, make sure these two doofuses don't walk into cars." Yeah, because she was she was silently motioning to them and then putting her arms up like to make the X motion, you know. Yep. Like watch out for them, but then continued like holding my arm for another uh, minute or two. Uh huh. All in all, it was a, a surprising evening. Now are they both Korean? Uh, no, she's Japanese. He's Korean. I see. All right. I sang some songs, my karaoke standards. <laughs> Which right? are? Which are what? I don't think we've discussed this. Uh, come on, feel the noise. Okay. Not true. No. Don't, you thought that was true? Sure, I don't know. I don't know how crazy you are about music. Jerk off. Jerk off. All right. Excuse you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Ah. Uh, no, mostly Japanese songs. Um, there's a song by Spitz called Cherry, which is popular among several age groups. <laughs> They were going to say Asians. <laughs> Popular among literally dozens of Asians. Uh, uh, no, the I, continent. Yeah. Actually, most of the songs that I do in karaoke, uh, I only know because they've been covered by Ayano Tsuji, who's one of my favorite uh, artists. Mm-hmm. Uh, another one, Sha La La, which I believe was originally a duet between her and uh, S- Southern All-Stars. Sure, right. Who ordinarily I'm not a fan of, but that song is fantastic. It also has one of the saddest music videos I've ever seen, done all in Playmobil characters. Oh, and that's pretty sad. great. That's well, Playmobil yeah. If you watch the characters are so jovial. Uh, well, no, that's kind of it's that juxtaposition that makes it sad because it's the story of this uh, guy who gets rejected by this girl, but because he's a Playmobil character, he constantly has the same goofy smile on his face even when he's crying. Oh, we've all been there. We've all been plastic. Now, if I may interject for a bit of egotism... You may. Who introduced you to Ayano Suji? Um, I'm going to say it was Toro the Cat. <laughs> it was you, you ass. No, it was. <laughs> no, it was delayed. That was meant for Toro. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, but what was that, 2003, 4? Perhaps earlier. No, get out. That game was... I'm Ray... Really? But I knew of her before that. Really? From what? I think I first heard her on like the college radio station because they had like a Japanese show. What? Yeah. Is that right? I think it's right. Yeah. Sure. I saw her live in 2009, I think. Neat. That was a lot of fun. And she came to Nagoya. Yeah. I hope she comes again. Nagoya is a city where people should go. And she has a song called Come Again. Uh, Yes. Mm. Nagoya often gets passed up for uh, tours and exhibitions and whatnot, just because it's not. It's kind of seen as like a lame town, I think, from from the outside perspective. Lame town for losers. Pretty much. That, that was the original kanji for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> there, there was, um, and until I think the eighties, maybe later, maybe earlier, we did not have a. Uh, express Shinkansen stop. We only had the local stop. Oh, wow. Okay. And so it's, yeah. you're basically in the middle of nowhere for like decades. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, and th- this was part of a phenomenon called uh, Nagoya Tobashi, which is, uh, I-, I guess, means the, the Nagoya skip. Mm-hmm. Like, if there's anything uh, popular or fun touring Japan, it's probably going to skip Nagoya. Yeah. Well, Although I think, th- I think that is slowly changing. What's up? It is slowly changing, especially once Critical Hit opens. That's right! Jazzing this place up a bit. Folks, come on down. Have a milk. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Can't serve any alcohol yet. Don't utilize. No, yeah. 
I know Japan is so strict. I can't even get a milk license. <laughs> I'll have a milk and tonic. No, nope, sorry. <laughs> oh god, just that sounds, sounds disgusting. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Give me a, give me a, a half and half milk <laughs> and buttermilk. Yeah. Give me a, a white and off white. That's the uh, that's the milk version of the black and tan. Mm-hmm. How about a half and half and half? I'll have a milk, mm. buttermilk, and almond milk. Oh. And then I'll be on the toilet. I do like <laughs> yes, I do like almond milk a lot. Yeah, it's pretty good. I haven't. I don't think actually have I. No, wait, no. I've had almond flavored bubble tea, and that's not you know, the same. Pretty close. I don't like bubble tea. You don't what? Too many distractions. <laughs> you're, you, Jesus Christ, are you OCD? <laughs> a little bit. Jesus, give me a break. <laughs> I really don't. It's gross to me. It's 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 fun. It's your fun. It's a fun experience for all. No, for one. <laughs> you never shared. No. <laughs> Why not? Least of all with you. <laughs> oh, would you like to? No, yeah, a little bit. No. <laughs> Jerk off. No, what the fuck? No, this is no. Jerk off. All right, Raymond, let's take a quick break. I'm Whoa. gonna come back with. Whoa, what happened? Yeah. No, you surprised uh, me with wanting to oh. take a break. Uh, well, we've been recording for 35 minutes almost. Oh, come on. <sighs> I'd like to come back with this week's Hashtag Japan. All right. So it's sad. Let me try. I'm Ray. Who is this? It's Alex. Oh, shit. No, it's... Okay. Well, we gotta do a show anyway. Hey. Alex, what do we have next? Raymond, I and hang out... have next? Oh, Jesus Christ. Go ahead. You know I hang out at the Hub a lot, before 7 o'clock. And that's a bar. That's a bar. It's a chain of English pubs. Uh, English pubs, in quotes, because it's very fakey. Sure. It has a Union Jack somewhere, right? Yes. About 10 or so years ago, uh, English slash Irish pubs became a popular thing in Japan, and a whole bunch of them opened up in all the major cities. Yeah. Why is that? Well, the American bar was kind of getting played out. I mean, the izakaya has been around for centuries. I'm making well, that up. Uh, What's up? I guess. You know what? I guess the American bar doesn't have quite the cachet. No. Because there's so many different varieties, and it all just sort of blends together, much like the nation itself. But, you know, the the European, the UK bars, you know what it's like because it's like, oh, it's the pub. Right, exactly. Let's go down to the pub for a pint. Let's get yeah. some crisps, you might yeah. say. <laughs> right? I'll have apple crisp. Is that what they offer? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. All right, then. Do you fancy a spot of something and so on? I do, mate. <laughs> and so the American bar was sort of supplanted by the English pub. But e- easier easier to market. Yes, exactly. Oh, my God. If you ever need to hear, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to find a place in Japan that will play the Beatles. And, but you can go to the hub. They'll, they'll probably put one of those on. Uh huh. I cannot fucking stand the Beatles. Okay, how about the Hollies? It's I, mean, be, I do, like the Hollies. I like put the, the Hollies, Hollies on this show a lot. I yes, I do like the Hollies. 
Do in my I, ear, I don't entirely see the difference, but... Uh, well, no, it's because the Hollies, like, never really caught on in Japan the way the Beatles did. If you live in Japan for more than a day, you'll come to hate the an Beatles. An hour. A minute. Um, Basically, once you're out of the womb in Japan. Pretty much. It's like, you are hit over the head with the Beatles pretty much everywhere you go. And I'm not sure exactly why Japan is taking to the Beatles so much, other than, A... Um, one of them married a Japanese woman before he died, uh-huh. and two, they are you know um, druggy peaceniks. Right. Well, emphasis on the peacenik part. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm pl- playing into the peace fetishism of modern <laughs> Japan because I, uh, I think it's also because a lot of kids have to sing Beatles songs in English class. Okay. Like I, 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 I te- um, when I taught at junior high school, we had to sing a song in class. But we also sang Lady Gaga in Chicago. Chicago is nice, actually. Hmm. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, Beatles. Japan is super, super saturated with the Beatles. And it's, uh, it gets on my nerves. Hey, Jude, don't make it bad. There's a commercial for a beer with a Japanese celebrity. I don't know his name because I don't watch Japanese TV playing acoustic guitar, and just singing a cover of Hey Jude. That's the commercial. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not even the Beatles version. It's just this TV celebrity playing guitar on a roof with a beer glass next to him singing Hey Jude. (laughs) And two of my favorite Japanese bands both cover the Beatles in a couple of songs. Uh, They all do! It's it's your rite of passage. If you have any musical act in Japan on any level, any genre, you have to cover the Beatles. Yes, and really not that well. (laughs) No! I, yeah, I know one of those. You're talking about Anonymous, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I really liked that song until I found out it was a Beatles cover. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a Beatles cover then, at first. And then my they number do, one... They do a lot of songs in English anyway. What's up? Nah. My number one favorite, Clam Bond, they did, they, they've had a couple albums that are just covers, but one of them was Lady Madonna. But the, the lead singer lady, she keeps screwing up the lyrics. She's like, <laughs> Lady Madonna, children at your feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, I, yeah. and then my favorite arcade game, Bomb Jack, as yeah. I explained before on Retronauts, in the second stage, it plays a cover of Lady Madonna. And that's how <laughs> I knew the song first. Oh, no. Because <laughs> then I heard, <laughs> I would hear it later. It's like, wait, oh, that's from Bomb Jack. <laughs> yeah. And then they took it out of later ports because, you know, don't want to get in trouble. No. But yeah, I, I mean, w- even freaking game developers in the 80s, will you put the Beatles yeah. in there. Or 90s. I mean, they snuck some stuff into Earthbound, right? Well, yeah, it was kind of like chopped and screwed. Yeah. Kind of like my ears when the Beatles come on. <laughs> hey. All right. Now, the only capacity in which I can tolerate the Beatles is um, DJ BC's mashup album, The Beastles, which crosses the Beatles and the Beastie Boys. Hmm. That's because I'm a huge Beastie Boys fan. And it's nice to hear them. They're, those sounds mash up very well, I find. I guess so. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, that was me. Jeez. What? <laughs> I am. I am. Sorry, I've lost. Sorry, I <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I have lost five pounds of weight uh, just in sweat alone since we started recording. <laughs> okay, just consider that. I'm jealous. Don't be. <laughs> so what do you want me to do? Uh, focus up and let's get through this. Let That's what I want you to do. tea, bright oh, eyes. Because I drank it all, dank ass. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I I don't either. All right. Well, I mean, was that hashtag Japan? <laughs> no, I'm still getting into it. I, I, I went. I, yes, I'm just explaining what the hub is. That's all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. All right, going. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hub Day 
is on August 2nd, also uh, my friend Matt's birthday. So I thought, you know what? That'll be a great day to go to the hub because on hub day... <laughs> another great excuse to drink. Another great excuse <laughs> to drink. Here's one to Alex. Matt. Pour one out for Matt, but I can't <laughs> pour it out because I just paid pour money for this. Pour down my goddamn gullet. There we go. Because I'm a hopeless drunk. Yes. Um, hub day, August 2nd. Uh, half off everything on the menu. All drinks, I should say, not food. Folks, at least 50 episodes ago, Alex pledged to be sober. <laughs> for a limited time only. Yeah. And that worked limited. out. That was a month and a half, right? That's not bad. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, half off all drinks on August 2nd, Hub Day. And there are three hubs in Nagoya. There is the original, the Sakai Hub, the second one, the Fushimi Hub, and the newest one, the Mayeki Hub. And then the Hubba Dub Dub. There's the Hubba Dub Dub. There's the Rubba Dub Hub. There's the Hubba Good Day. And there's a Pubba Num Num. There's, yeah, um, Rum Tum Tugger. <laughs> Mr. Mistopheles, we did this already. <laughs> did we? I think we did, yeah. Anyway, I prefer the Fushimi Hub because it is the least meat markety. Like the Sakai Hub and the Mayeki Hub are like where you go to hook up. Oh. And like I, after like six or seven o'clock, I should say, because they, they all open at either four or five and until about six or seven or sometimes eight, they're pretty nice and relaxing. They're not crowded. You can just stretch out with a drink and a book on the porch and fun just for read. All ages. It's fun for most ages. Oh. And then after seven o'clock, usually, especially if it's a weekend, it fills up with like, um, I, I don't know how else to say this, loud Italians. <laughs> uh, That's yeah. right, right, right. Et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's, now? Yeah, do it. <laughs> There is there is a contingent of obnoxious Europeans in Nagoya and Americans. I'm going to say this to, like hey. probably in equal amounts. You've got like the horny Americans and the horny Europeans who say. will gather, yeah. <laughs> who will gather at the Sakai Hub or the Mayaki Hub just to look for Japanese girls to hook up with. <sighs> and that's when I make my uh, hasty exit. Because I like the hub to be as, you know, devoid of other people as possible. Yeah. And if you get to the Sakai hub on a good day, it's, it's, it's a fantastic way to spend a summer afternoon. Because, like I said, you sit on the porch in the sunshine with a drink and a book and put your feet up and just relax. It's like you're on a vacation at a beach house or something. Except instead of the ocean, there's cars. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> That's a good description. Ah, the emissions coast. Ah. Uh, uh, all that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that a shark? <laughs> I'm lightheaded and now my throat is black, but oh boy. <laughs> so I thought, great, hub day, August 2nd, half off everything on the menu. I'm going to go to Fushimi Hub, my favorite hub. It seems to attract the fewest uh, horny Americans and Europeans. And Canadians. i got to throw Canada under the bus, too. Because I've, I've met a lot of obnoxious, horny Canadians in, uh, in Nagoya. Uh, I go to the Fushimi Hub because it seems that these types don't congregate there. They seem to stick to Sakai because that's the, like the downtown drinking center of the city. Or Mayeki because that's near the, the central station of uh, yeah. Nagoya. Nagoya station. Fushimi is kind of in between them, and it's not very convenient to get to unless you're already in the area. And I love that place because that's also where my bar is. It's about a block behind the hub. This has been Nagoya Travels with Alex. Thank you. Visit me. So I roll up there in my 5.0. That's what I call my bike. <laughs> with the rag top down. Oh, wait, there's no top. And there's no hair. <laughs> Damn it. I park my bike. I go inside. Uh, I go up the steps, rather. And I'm thinking, this is great. Uh, it's it's nice and early in the evening. I'm going to have a few drinks at half price. I mean, I usually do anyway because ha- uh, happy hour is half off cocktails. Uh, but this is like, you know what? I can finally enjoy a half price beer because they never do that. This will be nice. I go inside. It is standing room only. Ah. It is packed. All the seats are taken. Pretty much all the floor space is taken. <laughs> it's not just standing room only. It's like there's almost no room to maneuver. 
and I'm like, uh, oh, I don't really want to stay here. I came all the way out here. I'll just have one drink and then head out. And I'm, I don't want to get a beer now because that takes longer to drink. I'll just get a gin and tonic. I can finish it in 10 minutes and then I'm out the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I order my gin and tonic. And, you know, during happy hour, usually the prices um, with, with, your, with your discount, the, the half price plus your uh, hub card discount, it's 250 yen. Yeah, so I, right, I give her my card, and she rings it up, and it's 270 yen. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hi, excuse me, did you, I, I don't think you, you scanned my card, because it still says 270 yen. She's like, nope, I scanned it. Today, everything is half off. I'm like, okay, I know that, but, I mean, th- th- this, this drink is usually half off at this time anyway, and I always pay 250 yen for it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, everything's half off. So we're not counting uh, your, your car discount today because everything's half off. Please enjoy the half off menu. Now, I get that, but you're advertising this half off day, all day sale, and I somehow paying more than I usually do for the drink that I always get. Oh, yeah. sorry. It can't be helped. Please understand. <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, fine. So I, I find out um, quickly there's no place to sit. So I, end up, I just stand at the bar, and then very quickly, she's like, oh, sorry, you can't stand here, because um, the people have to order here. I'm like, where, there's nowhere to fucking stand. Where do you expect me to stand? And she's like, well, you, there's some room over in the hallway leading to the bathroom. Okay, that sounds like a fan-fucking-tastic <laughs> evening. I'm going to stand looking like I'm in line for the bathroom to drink my drink. And that's, that's what's what I ended up doing. That's, that's all there was to do. I later found out that it was packed not because of the fucking half, quote-unquote, half-off sale, but because there was a soccer game that day. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So I, I finished that drink. Right and that World Cup fever train all the way to the end. Oh, no, this is, this is the local team. No, I know. There, okay. It's, it's residual. Okay. Yes, uh, Hub advertises um, soccer games for the, the local team, the Nagoya Grampus Horrible, horrible name. <laughs> the, excuse me? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, the apparently, I, that's exactly what I thought it was uh-huh. the first time I heard it. And I drew a picture, like I drew a little character of like old Japanese men playing soccer, which made me laugh for months. Or is that Krampus? K- no, that's, that's like the evil Santa, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, a Grampus apparently is a, a type of orca. Okay. It's a big old whale. And you know, <laughs> I mean, the Japanese love whales. Yeah, of course. Right? As we've seen. Yes, they're tasty. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, the hub advertises they that love shit. them in their belly. That, yes, exactly. So the place was filled up because of that. And I'm like, fuck this, I'm out of here. I, don't even, I didn't even finish the gin and tonic. I, just, I took a few sips and I put it on the metal uh, counter for, like, discarded, you know, glasses. Like, here, fuck this, I'm out of here. Oh, thanks for coming, valued customer, and just left. Well, at least you got a drink. <sighs> you got you got something. And then I got went a to buzzed. The, yes, and then I, I retreated to my safe haven, which is the Coopers, where it was almost empty, and my favorite song was playing when I walked in, yeah. and I yeah had a beer and relaxed. <laughs> I think the, the Coopers escaped. And there wasn't that, a soccer game. There was murder ball. Yes, murder ball. The Coopers escapes the local soccer fever because they only give a shit about uh, international games. Like when yes. Japan, when the country the plays League. another country. And the Mutant League, right. Mutant League football, Mutant League golf. Just like uh, ha- hockey. Mutant League hockey. It was just football and hockey. Mutant League soccer. Socky. Mut- <laughs> Y'all got that, Socky. Whoa. Uh, yeah. The, the, the Coopers doesn't give a shit about the local team, so they only play the international games, which, uh, less crowded for me! Mm-hmm. Anyway, back to you with sports. All right, great. The, uh, the grandpas beat Newton the uh, grandpas. youngins today oh, what was in the score? a heated match that ended in a tie. Wait, how, how did they beat them if it was a tie? They beat them emotionally. Oh, yeah, I guess that would beat anybody. Oh, we've got a quote from the opposing team's goalie. Fuck! 
Mm. Anyway, that's uh, this week's hashtag Japan, claiming you have half price discount and then charging me more than usual. Yeah. Thanks How a lot, Hub. Hashtag Japan. Suing and then raiding another company because they you didn't notice that they'd been infringing your copyrights for months. What? <laughs> Do go on. This SNK, is fucking fascinating. SNK is suing Square Enix. Because oh Square Enix publishes a manga called High Score Girl. It's a, it's a funny manga about you know video game culture when you're a kid and stuff. Sure. And there's a, lots of plot about playing SNK games like King of Fighters and whatnot. And there's lots of renditions of those characters from those fighting games. And apparently the manga did have little statements like copyright SNK play more, et cetera, et cetera. But apparently they didn't actually ask permission or someone didn't realize that they were supposed to or someone asked and it didn't get through or something. Oh, boy. And then there's, they were planning an anime version of this manga. And then apparently someone finally asked SNK about it and they're like, what? What the fuck? <laughs> so now Jeez. they're filed suit against Square Enix. And then apparently the cops came to Square Enix's offices the other day. Whoa! <laughs> To, you know, assess the situation. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, right now, hang on. Hold up right there. Funniest mental image uh, in my head right now is the, <laughs> the police uh, leading away in handcuffs, Cloud Strife. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> Please tell me that happened. It's like, yes, they finally got lightning. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. To ask a story. I guess they just finally made a public statement. SNK did. Um, <laughs> I'll read it quickly here. Without receiving permission it. of our comp- company, the manga High Score Girl reproduced an abundant number of game characters whom ownership belongs to our company and is publication by Square Enix, thereby infringe our copyrights. In order to protest the strict, serious misconduct, our company has sent multiple warnings again and again to Square Enix to place an immediate stop to the sales of books, ebooks, monthly magazines, and other products, High Score Girl. But any good faith correspondence was not made. I see. Okay. So it's a little bit different than I was led to believe here. Um, but yeah, our company has filed a criminal complaint according to Section 119, Paragraph 1 of the Copyright Act. Alex, could you look that up for us, please? Oh, fuck. And sure. Now, this is weird. Just like a weird sort of like ad name drop at the end of this. In order to protect our characters and games such as Metal Slug Defense, which are widely loved by users around the world, we will continue to resolute in measures against infringements and other acts against our copyrights. Okay. You gotta do that. You gotta believe. Right! <laughs> um... It's extra funny because that manga also had a nice tie-in with the latest Street Fighter game. Because there's also stuff about Street Fighter in there, of course. And so (laughs) there's like tie-in merchandise with that. So they got Capcom's permission, at least. (laughs) Oh, boy. Not so much with this NK. So that's today's news. Thanks, Square Enix. Well, I mean... We don't have to worry about it. It's funny, though. That reminds me, though, some people are uh, fan-translating that manga, and I need to read it, because like, I bought a volume and then didn't really keep it around. I'm dumb. I bought, Actually, finally... I think it's headed your way. <laughs> oh, cool! Yeah. I bought the first volume of One Piece, which is a wildly popular manga here in Japan. Yes. I think here I... Yes. I think I got most of the way through it and then kind of lost interest. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it picks up in the next 500 volumes. Would you be interested in the games? What's that? Would you be interested in a One Piece video game? Uh, possibly, if it, if it looks pretty. You know, they got... No, they're pretty good. You know, they got a Dynasty Warriors one. Uh, I'm not into the Musou thing. Really? Not even Zelda Musou? Not even Zelda Musou. Zelda Muslim? Oh, I'll play that. <laughs> hey, Yakuin of Time version 1.0. <laughs> right? Anybody? Alahu Impa. Is that what they say? No, you. Oh, sorry. I love Giuseppe. <laughs> Remember, was it the Fire Temple? Uh, yeah. Oh, there were two things. There were the Fire Temple had like a chant. This is, I think, Ayin of Time 1.0. The Fire Temple had a chant that sounded Islamic. And they also removed a crescent moon from some of the, the puzzle blocks. <gasps> Remember that? Not the moon, no. 
Yeah. The chanting? Yeah, that, that was out. Yeah. That's out of here. <laughs> yes, Muslim umpire moving his thumb <laughs> as if to say, you're out of here. You're disgraced. Muslim umpire. Yeah, well, hmm. all right. So that was a fun exploration of Japan once again here on No More Whoppers. Come back for more, won't you? Thank you. I'll try. Alex, what's next? Do we have fan fun? We have some donors. Okay. But we'll, we'll, we'll handle that in segment three, like always. I know. Okay. I want a preview. I want what you, are you to spoil trying to it do? for me. Hey, here's a fucking preview. But let's go save the crystal. I don't think it's... Somebody donated a crystal. Oh, oh, okay. Does that mean we have to go? Uh, no. We're gone. No! Folks, we're back. It's No More Whoppers, hanging by a thread. I'm Ray. That's Alex. Hi. Well, I slipped Rim, off. It, it's time for fan fun. Play the theme. Fuck. There it is. Fan. Yeah, that it's it, too. Raymond, we've got... Thank you. We've got fan fun. fun. Raymond! I'm just going to keep going in, like, in iterations. Watch. Fan fun. Fan no. fun. We love the... Fan fun. We love the fan. Stop. Fan fun. We love the fan it's fun. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> it was fun. I like this. It's fan fun. Uh, Raymond, we've got two donors this week, and they are both recurring. All right. Right? These Is that folks. one of those new genders I hear so much about? No. Oh, okay. No. Uh, the first one up is Jason Hall. The second one up is David Kelly. And I know you want to uh, duck out of here pretty soon. So in the interest of time, I'm going to do them at the same time. Okay. Trust me. I can't, but uh, I guess I have no choice. Give me the go. Whew, uh, all right. Uh, David and who? Jason. David and Jason. Okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Well, here we go. Jason, Jason Kelly! What a what great, great guy. guy. You know, he's know, been supporting, he's been supporting us, us for a long time now. And thanks, now. To, his and thanks donations, to his monthly we donations, we can afford the hosting that we so desperately need. need. All right, thanks, guys. Well, I uh, didn't know you could do it. Honestly, I mean, I had, I had some faith, but not enough. Oh, you know me. Yeah. And I'm a superstar yeah. at the Cracker Factory. You're a wonder. I am. Small wonder. Wonder bread. Activate? You're really white and bad for me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, white flower. <laughs> <laughs> As I hold up my fist. Uh, all right, so that's fan fun, huh? That's fan fun. Thank you. Um, yeah, we've got three Facebook likes. Not quite enough. Fan fun. Maybe next week. I don't know. All right. Yeah, cool. Uh, this, I, I've kind of been rambling and meandering this episode. It's yep. just you're a sweat box. I am a sweat box. You're a dripping, we, so rambling said mess. It's hot here in the kill box. You're literally a hot mess. I am literally a hot mess, and bad for you apparently. Do you say kill box? Yes, <laughs> it's hot here in the kill box. Uh, on the killing floor. <laughs> Can I come out yet? <laughs> Are you dead yet? No. <laughs> well then, a little more. Yes. Turn the kid over. Uh, Raymond, are you looking forward to a video game? Ooh, um, are you interested in that Zelda Musou? Sure. I'm not like super hyped, but I'll play it, yeah. Okay. 
today I just got a game called Metrico, and I'm going to play that. Are you trying to say Mexico? No. <laughs> what? <is> what? <laughs> 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 What is Metrico? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's going to get me later, too. I just know it. (laughs) No. Metrico is a PlayStation Vita game. Oh. It's an action platformer with the aesthetic of, like, infographics and charts and stuff. Oh. It's tongue-in-cheek, of course. Kind of neat looking, nonetheless. You're neat looking. It's an independent game. Thanks, um, Steve Irwin. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. I'm from Australia. Thank you. <laughs> now I was I was under the impression that the Vita was only for creepy girl touching Sims. Is that not accurate? Only in your country. Oh, that's right. What the hell do they use it for over there? Indie hipster shit. Oh, neat! Well, both things well, I hate. Also, you know, they're coming out with more of the girl, girl games, too. Oh, boy. Gotta make money somehow. Sure. System's not gonna sell itself. No. <clears throat> but it's got a no! loyal fan base in Japan. Jerk off. <laughs> Just the one. Oh. Oh, but there, I am literally sitting above a puddle. That sounds gross. It's sweat. All right. I, it is dripping out of the floor. Um, <laughs> Sounds great. I guess like, we should go ahead and end the show before Alex just finally just explodes. Pooling like so much pine salt. Finally combusts. All right, folks. Thanks. That's been No More Whoppers. Go to our website, nomorewhoppers.com. Go, to, go there. You'll find our donate button. Donate. Give us money. Alex will, you know, talk about you in a nice way. Go to our Facebook page, facebook.com. No more, no more Whoppers. Like the page, Alex will feature in our no- in our Facebook like segment, which features your name as well, and it's fun and it's funny and good for everybody. We still need some more of those. Find us on Twitter. No more whoppers. Fun stuff no there. More we tweet things you say to us, especially if you're funny. Are you gonna be funny? Are you gonna be fucking funny. Hey, whoa! No need to get offensive. We need you to be funny, okay? All right, I'm trying. We're dealing funny. Yes, we do. That's like our currency. Expected in return. All right, TBS. We know funny. I think it was very funny. Oh, fuck so, off. Geez. <laughs> TNT is... We know, know drama. drama. There we go. Who says we know funny? Nobody. No, I've heard that before. Who says we know no, funny? You, you made it up. Is it the studio that makes Doug? Can you hear this buzzing? Yes. Cool. Well, what is that? <laughs> Me touching the end of a, of a loose cable. Uh, wow, great find, Billy. <laughs> what the fuck was that for? <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you hear this? It's me dropping a pen on the ground. <laughs> when the fuck did you regress to ten years old? Jesus, I did it for three seconds. <laughs> what happened to you? Look at the sound I can make. All right, I'm not going to tell us about t- Twitter. Screw it. Jerk off. You, you're too mean to me. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just I'm struggling to understand the point behind can you hear this sound I'm making? <laughs> just delirious. We're all delirious. I'm Ray. <laughs> it's jungle out there. I am Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll be nice. Twitter. I'm R D B R A A A. Three A's. <laughs> <laughs> R-D-R-R. I'm R R I am Pitui. That's P I T O H U I. Yes, and that spells pie. It does. Find us on Friendster. Yes, give us five stars. On Clout. On iFriends. LinkedIn. Friend Tunes. Tunester. Uh, butt Friends. Anal. Hogwarts. Oh boy. Oh boy, we went crazy different directions. Whoa! Find us on the train! <laughs> and listen to Retronauts. Listen to Retronauts. Retronauts.com. Slash no more whoppers. Listen to Critical Hit. Yes! Clink. That's all I got. <laughs> I'm not actually gonna think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex, it's been great. 
Has it? Sorry for the truncated show, everybody, but I gotta <laughs> no. go to Six Flags tomorrow. Truncated? Sorry, we've done that before. Guy who doesn't understand <laughs> anything. All right, Raymond, have fun at Six Flags. Is there, is there a ride that you want to ride? No. I'm going in cold. Everybody else, keep your nose clean, and we'll see you next week. Gold subscribers, stick around for the show. You know, the internet is a magical place, but how does it compare to the afterlife? Our special guest, God, lets us know. How about the, st- the Thunderbolt? Ah, uh, sure. Whatever. The Steel Phantom. Uh-huh. The Metrico. The Jackrabbit, the Logjammer. Yeah, Chuck Chill knows what I'm talking about. The Rotor. They took that out when I was like 10, though. Cart Loader. The Pirate Ship, the Magic Carpet. The Swings. Uh, the, go to the Potato Sack. Get yourself a big thing of potatoes, fries. They got, like, cheese on them. They used to have an arcade with Killer Instinct in it. That's about all I remember. Folks, write in. <laughs> Please make that the stinger. <laughs>